Namaste and uh, good evening. Uh, first of all, I want to thanks pay. I want to pay thanks to Brittany Hamilton and uh, also to all Sam organization uh, inviting me today in Zoom to share my experience uh, in judiciary. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to share you. Uh, about the, the some knowledge about uh, my country because uh, so many have not heard about my country nepal and uh, nepal is in south asia and its north border is china uh, east to west south is uh, india and this is a landlocked country and uh, uh, a small nation it's it have a, it has a good uh, history long history and uh, we can know uh, nepal uh, everybody have heard must be heard about the mountain everest the highest peak of the world uh, this is in my country nepal and uh, also some people have heard must heard about the gorkhas people and uh, 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 like this, I want to give some introduction of my country, uh, only in short, uh, few words. Uh, my country's uh, geographical situation is 17% uh, uh, part of the land is plain land, but 83% part of the land is mountain and high mountain. Our uh, demographic situation is uh, we have near about uh, 30 million population, 51% uh, female and 49% uh, male population, as well as uh, the, it's a political status. I want to tell in short, in 1950, uh, we have a revolution after that democracy was established in Nepal. And uh, in 1962, uh, the then king seized the power in his hand. And in 1990, again, democracy, uh, multi-party system, uh, plus uh, monarchical, uh, constitutional monarchy was established. But in uh, 2006, uh, and uh, 2007 movement, uh, I mean, ab abolished the rule of king. Now I am, uh, this is the introduction of my country. Uh, now I, I, I am going to share my experience. First of all, I want to give my own experience, uh, my, uh, I mean, introductions. Uh, I am Sushila Karki. And uh, now I am a former Chief Justice of Nepal. Uh, as well as, uh, first of all, my profession was legal practice, in court. From 1979 to 2009, continuously I did practice as a lawyer in court. And uh, my practice was, uh, um, I mean, respected, people were respecting me, and uh, co uh, Supreme Court has also, I mean, uh, Supreme Court has uh, honored me as a uh, uh, senior advocate. I was also senior advocate, and I had have a good office, three, four, we were lawyer, we were working in office, and I have a lot of cases, and I also have uh, enough money earning for my livelihood. But what happened that in 2009, my senior uh, judges, 
uh, of Supreme Court, they approached me to be joined in Supreme Court as a judge. Before that, they have also asked me in uh, to be appointed in uh, I mean high court level court, but at that time I denied. Later on, they pressurized me and asked me there is a scarcity of women uh, judges in court. So uh, you should have to come. Then I accepted. And uh, first of all, I was appointed in judiciary as a ad hoc judge. And uh, I, I started to, I uh, left the practice. It was good. My legal practice was, uh, I was satisfied. But anyway, I have to left the practice where I have keen interest. And I had have thought that I will do this work for my lifelong, but uh, I had to came uh, to judiciary to join. And uh, uh, by the way, I want to share you uh, this, my experience that I had to face three time uh, parliamentary hearing I had to face. Uh, I think um, other people may not have faced that kind of uh, uh, hearing three times in their. And I uh, actually, I worked in judiciary only eight uh, year, five month, and 13 days. During this period, I had to face parliamentary hearing three times. We have provision of parliamentary hearing in our constitution, just like in US. And uh, first of all, I had to face parliamentary hearing in when I was appointing as an ad hoc judge before that. And uh, in November 18, 2010, I had to, I was confirmed as a judge in Supreme Court. At that time also, I had to face the parliamentary hear hearing again. I became able to, uh, I mean, make the imp my impression among the people that I am a strong woman. I am a, I mean, um, integrated woman, and uh, I am zero tolerance about the corruption, and uh, also the I am a competent woman. This kind of impression was um, among the people I have established during my seven, near about seven years function work. But uh, when my time came to uh, uh, be a uh, um, chief justice, uh, at that time, I had to face some problem. Uh, I want to tell you, uh, the problem is that there in the constitution, there is a provision. Uh, I mean, when the uh, outgoing chief justice uh, uh, he, his time is only remain one month and he, when he is going to be retired, before his retirement, according to the constitution and the, um, according to the constitutional council, the appoint recommending body, in the, their rule, what is written that before the retirement, one month before the retirement of the outgoing chief of justice, the coming chief justice name should be recommended. But my name was not recommended. Uh, as other chief justice name were recommended, but my name was not recommended. And uh, in uh, the recommendation committee is the uh, in our country, is there is one institution that is uh, constitutional council, and uh, the, there are five members. First is prime minister, second is chief justice, third one is the opposition political party ladies uh, leader, and fourth one is speaker of the lower house of the upper house. These five. Uh, I mean, the uh, prominent person are there and they recommended those persons appointment they recommended who are in the, uh, who are appointing in the constitutional body. 
Uh, so judges are also recommended. Uh, I mean, Chief Justice also recommended uh, recommending by this cons uh, constitutional council. But my name was not, uh, uh, I mean, recommended. My uh, former uh, CJ, Chief Justice was Honorable Kalyan Sresta. He was also a member. He tried before his retirement, but he became a uh, fail, unable to uh, declare my name. And uh, then what happened that uh, uh, I, I want to tell you this thing that that uh, when I was going to be chief justice, when I was the candidate of chief justice, at that time, I was ineligible candidate, one thing. Next thing, there was no one my competitor because other, other judges have uh, not meet the criteria according to the constitution. Concerning th this appointment, I'm talking you, what happened that my former Chief Justice, Kalyan Sreste, he, he is appointed as, first of all, he appointed in judiciary as an officer. And from officer level to Chief Justice, he became. And he's actually good cadre and he's very worky and very knowledgeable. And he has knowledge of each and every uh, persons and each and every judge. I requested him before his retirement in February 2016. Uh, uh, you do have to do appointment because you know the every person who is right person, who is wrong person. You know who is corrupted or non-corrupted. You know every person. So in your time, you have to appoint the, uh, the judges in uh, Supreme Court. Otherwise, it will be failure. If you will not app attempt, uh, appoint, then in that situation, I can't do because I don't know everybody. I know some people because my experience is only eight years. Your experience is the 40 years. So you have to do. Well, we sat uh, in the Judicial Council meeting and we did and we appointed. He selected the good persons and perfect persons and intelligent and wise cream of the judiciary, he selected seven person from the, uh, I mean, high court level judges, chief judges, and four from the, uh, maybe maybe more than 30 year, years practiced and well-known reputed lawyers, uh, uh, including 11 judges were appointed. And this uh, uh, appointment, in this appointment, there is no any political, we had uh, discarded the political, um, I mean, uh, uh, recommendation, everything we, we uh, uh, discarded. And then we appointed, uh, I, you must have heard the name of Sapna Malla. She's uh, one of the most talented women, and she's also appointed another woman, cadre woman. Uh, judges, she was also appointed. Two women among the 11, there were two women. First of all, in I'm thinking uh, concerning to my countries like third world. Mm -hmm. One thing, whether maybe lawyer or maybe judge, First of all, they should be integrated and honest. Mm -hmm. I think the post of judge is just like a sage and hermit. Many things should be avoided. Many things should be, I mean, uh, interest. Uh, uh, Men like to do any many things. But uh, we, we judges have to be a control uh, uh, culture. We, we should develop, you know, uh, that things. And another thing is, uh, especially in our area, there is the, in third world, there is the corruption is highly, uh, I mean, uh, there is a matter of talk of corruption. Corruption should not be. And next thing, especially for the women sector, I want to tell that, uh, first of all, women should be dedication. 
I, I, I want to give you an example. There were so many women practicing in Nepal, in my country. But what happened? After uh, six months, two years, three years, they left. They, uh, left they, they left the practice because they feel, I mean, a kind of, uh, it's a hard job and they could not adjust on it. And there is also the family background. If there is a children, house, home, uh, f uh, I mean, uh, father-in-law, sister-in-law in house, and they have to run the house, they could not do. In that situation, family should support, family people should support the lawyer woman, and family pe people should support the judge. Judge work is also, uh, I mean, it's a difficult work, you know. Very difficult to work. You have to study, maximum study. Without study, you can't be a judge. You have to exercise your mind. You have to concentrate your mind. You have to learn the different kind of doctrine, theories, and maximum. And hundreds and hundreds law are used to be. Hundreds and. And you should be always up to date up to date of all these things. So without these things, you can't be a judge, you can't be a lawyer. Uh, one thing I want to tell you, my family, my mother, my father, they were, they were interested to see me. Uh, I mean, they, they were in, interested in my career career build, building and they wanted to uh, see me as a uh, great personality so they were always i mean supporting me and also guiding me and next uh, person is my husband he has given me so good i mean help that maximum he helped in this practice and judges uh, profession uh, i have to give maximum time and whole household and business and my caring of my son and uh, um, everything he had done. I do not have to look my domestic affairs. Never I had to look. Uh, look. I, I concentrate only my profession or of uh, legal profession. Uh, and also I concentrate freely and well, freely, maximum time I uh, could give on the job of a judiciary and also in my profession.